Hey everyone, Brian here, AstroLips2000, bringing you another video today. Uh, today I want to bring you a quick video on process icons in PixInsight. I'm creating this video at a request by a friend of mine, mprez22. Uh, if you want to check him out on Instagram, he's got some amazing Astro images on there. Um, so I decided to make this video to show you guys what process icons are, how to create them, etc. So let's dive in. On my screen, uh, you could see I have, well, on the right-hand side, all the process icons that I use right here. And over here is the Fireworks Galaxy that I am processing, working on. So process icons are very helpful because they can uh, save you a lot of time and picks in sight because some of the processes that you set up can take, uh, you know, it's a lot of numbers to remember and all the settings. And you can actually um, arrange these icons in the order that you would use them in, in your workflow. So, you know, if you do noise reduction, you could put that icon for right here. And then the next icon, you can put a uh, stretch and then DBE. Well, that's not an order, but you get the point. You can put it in the icons, arrange them in the order of your workflow. And that's what I did when I started out in PixInsight. And it was very helpful for me instead of having my pen and paper old school of my checklist of items to uh, for my workflow. So let me show you guys what the purpose is of them. So let's go to process, all processes. And I feel like uh, let's use dynamic crop. This is a good example to show you guys. Oh, let me move my screen out of the way over to here. So dynamic crop, uh, not so much on a one shot color, but we have a ton of mono images that you were working on. It's a good way to, um, you know, uh, perform the same process on each one of the images, some of the ones that are repetitive ones, such as dynamic crop. Uh, so you could set, set the reset here and set, you know, put the crop the way you want. So something crazy, say for whatever reason, I wanted to crop the image like this. So before you would execute the command by clicking the green checkbox, you grab this little triangle right here in the corner. All the processes have it. Drag and drop. And that's going to save a copy of the way that you have all these parameters set. In this case, the way that I have this window set here. So let me show you. Now I'm going to execute the command. And it did the horrible crop that I set up for this image. So let me get rid of this. Now let me back up. And then the image is back the way it was. So this saved the way that I have the crop set up. And there are two ways you can go about doing this. You can drag and drop the process command that you created and it will perform it. Or you could double click the process icon to see how it's all set up. And the same way you would just click execute and it will perform the same way. So these things are great, and very helpful. Let me get rid of this. After you drag and drop the process icon and you see it right here, you can then right click on it and you go down to set icon identifier and you can rename it. You're not allowed, you know, PixInsight doesn't allow any spaces. So you just have to use an underscore. Um, super sweet crop. Perfect. Now you can see it renamed my process icon. And again, you can use these for anything. As you can see, I have, um, some pixel math equations in here. So if you set up um, pixel math, let me show you process, all processes. Well, why am I gonna use this when I'm making a video to show you about process icons? So let me show you pixel math and anything that you were to enter in here, any word, if you drag and drop the icon, yeah, whoops. I dropped it on the image. You got to drag into the gray area on the screen. Let me close this. Open the process icon, and there you go. The, what I just typed in there is now saved. So uh, it's awesome. Another trick, uh, once you have a bunch of these, you can pull a window over them, and there's a few options. You can right click. You can arrange them like so. It will line them up. Uh, in a certain order. So I pull this out. You can right click, arrange icons. There are multiple ways to arrange them. 
Um, to the left, to the right, you click over here and it will give you a line right, left, or center. Uh, another thing you could do after you created all these process icons is you could pull a window over them again, right click and save selected icons. So you save the icons to a specific location and that's how you can bring them back into the exact uh, location you had them on your screen and the and what, how you had them all set up. So we'll call this test. I'm going to clear all these icons out, remove, and then I'm going to bring them in. Keep in mind, PixInsight does not automatically import your process icons, at least uh, not that I'm aware of. Every time you open PixInsight, you will have to reload the process icons, just like this. So when you open PixInsight, you have the gray screen, process icons, you right-click, process icons, and then load process icons. And then here's the one that we just created called test. So let's open that. And there you go. You can see it popped up in the same spot where we had them saved. So let me remove these. Delete selected icons. And again, right click. Process icons. Load process icons. And these are the ones that I use workflow. And this is how I typically have them arranged. You can also send your process icon file that you saved to other people. So again, if you had your uh, workflow set up and you were trying to help someone out that's just learning how to use PIX, you can arrange the icons in a specific order and then send that file to them and they can open it and just follow the order of the process icons to help them with their processing. That's what I did when I started with PIX. And again, I arranged them in an order um, of my process and, and it, it was very helpful. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Brian from AstroLips 2000, and I hope you enjoyed my uh, short video on process icons. Thanks, everyone.